Angry tradies and homeowners are all chasing this builder for answers. While they're struggling to pay the mortgage on unfinished homes, he's holidaying in Europe. I can't concentrate on my job. My bank is not trusting me. I will lose everything. Pay me money. I want me money. Welcome to my house. Rome wasn't built in a day. And Damesh's home wasn't built in 56 weeks, but it should have been. 18 months since the contract was signed, 13 months when the slab was done, and last six to eight months, no one has been here. Damesh says he came to Australia from India to give his family a better life. His mistake, trusting this builder. I'm paying like almost $2,000 every month, right, just on the mortgage payments and then almost $800 every week for rent, right? And still I have to, like, you know, see this, and there is no solution to it. How much did you pay for this? Uh, until now, I've, I've almost paid near to $80,000 to get this done. And, like, I'll have to shell out even more than what I've paid to build this, to remove this. I'm going to spend more to fix this. No builder is ready to touch it. Amarjit Kark runs Ajit Constructions in Sydney. If there is an issue, come down, have a chat with us, you know. Oh, we, can, we can sit down and we can work out a solution which is going to, you know, work for both parties. Amarjit's jetted off to Europe, leaving customers without roofs over their heads. Calls to the number listed on the Ajit Constructions website don't connect. The number you have called is currently unavailable. And the company's shut up shop. Amarjit, why have you done this? Niraj is angry. After 26th of August, the work stopped with no reasons, nothing at all, and me started chasing them, and eventually realised that, oh, they're asking for more money if I want my project to move. Niraj says he paid up, desperate for his build to continue. I paid them up to $105,000 at one stage, borrowing money from my friends, families, everyone, and the, the frame stage was still not up. So I have paid 387,292 until uh, now. Niraj fears he won't recover from this financial mess. I am left with just under $500,000 to finish the house. But when I go out um, asking for quotations and tenders to fix it, I've been getting upwards of 800,000 at least to go bare minimum to fix it. Amarjit, where is my house? There's also Manish, whose Western Sydney duplex hasn't seen a tradesman since September last year. I paid uh, in total $140,000 to him and I paid close to $12,000 to suppliers. Yeah, it, it is a saving of my whole life which uh, we have put in. And all Manish has to show for it is a concrete slab and a brick wall. The Department of Fair Trading told a current affair it's currently investigating Ajit Constructions but couldn't comment further. Despite complaints from the victims in our story, there's still no public warning available on the Fair Trading website, meaning there's nothing stopping Ajit Constructions from taking on new customers. Amarjit is currently worry-free on holiday with his family in Europe. Builders have an obligation, a legal obligation, to complete a contract uh, once it's signed. Brian Seidler's Executive Director, Master Builders Association, New South Wales. There's no doubt the building industry has had it tough. Is it possible that this builder had good intentions and ran into some trouble? I think you're right. Um, the fact that we've had 100 days of recorded rain in the first six months of this year um, has meant that jobs are totally disjointed and uh, unable to start and get continuity. So linked with uh, increasing labour costs and material costs, um, all of those things play on, on a contractor who may have been locked into what we call lump sum contract prices. Brian says it's no excuse. The builder can't start work until the insurance is in place. Now, this insurance uh, covers consumers for exactly this particular situation that's arisen. I'm currently owed 55,000 from the JIT constructions. It's not just customers who've been left in the lurch, but contractors too. Martin Irvine of IRV Concreting. 50,000 was our float, which sort of kept us 
kept us going, uh, paid wages when you know invoices hadn't come in, and and just general uh, run of the business. So without that, we've sort of been scrimping and scraping from week to week for probably 12 months now. It's not what you signed up for though, is it? No, not at all. Karma is going to come back. We offered the builder a right of reply but still haven't heard back from him.